Hello everybody. Yes, this, these are two Type 99 uh, Naval training rifles. This is what they would have uh, trained the, the Naval Special Forces with before actually issue, issuing them either uh, a standard Type 38 if they had it, either a Type 99 if they had it, or the Type I Karkakana, or Kar Karkano rifle. Because those were contracted to the Navy from Italy because some of them were issued those or they had the the naval special which looks basically identical to this gun right here anyways while I'm doing this video is uh, I did a bolt got a bolt replacement because I had this is this is an all number matching bolt here that's in my hand but I had issues with the because it had a broken firing pin and I did, I've done switcheroos like with this bolt, nothing worked. So I finally came across the bolt and I bought it. And here's the thing here, this is the original uh, safety safety nub thing for the for this bolt that's in this rifle, but it wouldn't work with this. So I took the one that was matching to this and it works on here. So yeah, that's that's the thing with any kind of a training rifle if you got one that you're trying to restore or you just want it functional just to be aware that it's a gamble it, this is a pain in the ass and it can be expensive buying variety of parts you might have to go through four or five six different bolts to get that one bolt to fucking work that's how complicated these are no this ain't a live round or it's not even a live blank this has already been fired what I was going to do, I was going to do like a striker test because these have already been fired. But since it's already been fired from out of a different gun, actually the Type 38 to be Pacific, since it's swelled up, it won't. I can't get it to chamber, so that part ain't going to work. But yeah, it will fire. See? Bolt's a little sticky. But yeah, this is the the short variant of the Type 99 uh, Naval training rifle. See, this one's got the anchor someone, or the person I bought it from, I guess, either did that. Got that nice little pretty anchor mom. Now, naval specials were basically identical to this. Still had the cast iron receiver. A little more. Sometimes they put uh, naval type or type naval or type special. I think is actually what it said on the receiver. But this one's the training variant. As you notice, it has nothing for swing swivels whatsoever. Now, some of these did, but not all. Now this one here in particular is very rare. This one I paid about five hundred dollars for through you know on an auction. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have owned this gun if I would have known that it came with a broken firing pin. Now, I was pissed about that. But I'm pretty sure I haven't tested this yet. I'll have to actually put a real or a, an unfired blank in this and see if it'll actually fire. Cause since this one's already been fired, I can't do a striker t or a test on it to see if it'll actually hit. But most commonly, this is what your Type 99 long rifle of the training variant will look like. This one also has an anchor mount if I can get it to pick up on the camera. There it is. Notice the bolt ain't in it because I was, like I said, I was playing with the parts. So yeah, they're not very interchangeable. They are a pain in the ass. So when you buy parts, it's a 50-50 chance, no matter what it is. If it's the firing pin, the safety, all these are all fitted different. So if you have one that works, just take good care of it because if you break a part, it is a legitimate nightmare to get parts and get them to actually function correctly oh and uh, I will add a picture 
and show you what the original training ammunition looked like because everyone's like oh they're just blank guns well when they trained with these they didn't just fire blanks they either had the the wooden bullet or they had one that had a cap on the end just a little steel cap and then they also had one that actually had a ball like a bb that would fit at the end of here and just boom you know that was the training ammunition but however no matter if it's a 99 training rifle or a type 38 you'll notice you know, how you know the difference it'll be the front barrel band will just have a single you know like what type 38s look like now when they got into the late of the war they it would still have this but it would instead of having two screws it would just have one it wouldn't have a screw here in the front it would just be back here um but the i didn't or the main giveaway is a type of versus type 38 and the type is definitely the receiver type 38 has two gas holes type 99 has one anyways i'm gonna put this one back together or what i was going to talk about too this bolt here it's all mismatching but here's the thing it will fire it'll fire once after that you have to disassemble the bolt put it back together for it to fire again because the firing pin doesn't fully line up inside the bolt correctly so it's uh so yeah there's it'll only it's basically now a single shot even though it's got a five round magazine and here's the one i fired out of this if that tells you see look how that how deep it struck that primer and that's because it's the wrong firing pin now if this if this was for live ammunition i'd be scared <laughs> little nervous on doing that if they on shooting it but with blanks and yeah I'm, I can care less because you know these blanks don't have a whole lot of you know pressure or anything so these are typically this or any training rifle that's designed for firing blanks you're perfectly safe they're not going to blow up I know a lot of people that's why you don't see no videos on YouTube besides me talking about because everybody else is scared of the damn things but I have fired this one. That other one over has not been fired yet. And I did try to fire it one time. And just all it went was click. And it just didn't barely, just barely touch the primer. So that's why I just wanted a firing pin, honestly. But finding training rifle firing pins is extremely difficult. Same it is with bolts too. But I come across the bolt. I snatched it up. And I was like, I hope it works. I hope it works. Well, as you can see, it fits, but the uh, the safety tang that was originally on that bolt, which I'm holding right here, would not. It didn't line up in the back, right? So I had to put the the number matching one back on there. If that tells you how complicated it is. Gotta line this up. That's why the extractor on this was a little off. You bitch. But yeah, when you find Navy trainers, which they are, they are rare, all of them are, but the most common ones you'll see will be the long variant like this. And then here's the short one. And here, I'll go get my Combat 99 and show you how pretty much identical they are. combat rifle and then the type 99 training or the short training rifle
It's funny because even these have the ear ear protection sights on them. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up. Oh, and what I meant to say, I will have the or in the video when I upload it. Will there'll be a picture of the training ammunition? But if you're a collector into that and you, because uh, all all train rifles, whether 99 or or uh, I probably already said it, but whether 99 or a 38 are all chambered in 6.5 for the training ammunition. Now you might see one that says, oh, it's a Type 99, so it's 7.7 .7 blanks only. Well, obviously the seller doesn't know what he's talking about, because everyone I've ever seen, now I could be wrong, but every train rifle, whether 99, 38, they're all 6.5. But I did see on Gun Broker, and you can go and look into this for yourself, go on gunbroker.com, and search 7.7 .7 jab or put in uh, Arasaka trainer or train in and you should easily come across a, a listing where it says 7.7 .7, and it's on a five round with a stripper clip of 7.7 .7 training ammunition that the person's got listed on there he wants $350 but I'm gonna tell you something well, people are familiar, or if you're familiar, the, the combat rifle like this also, you could have a, a grenade launcher on it. And I can't remember what the correct name of the type, whatever, grenade launcher. I'm pretty sure that it wasn't training ammunition, because it did, it had it had caps like 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 the 6.5 training ammunition. But I guarantee the the steel cap was the ignite to, the, the you know, to shoot the grenade off the grenade launcher. I guarantee that's what that ammo was for, but... He wants three hundred fifty dollars for it, which is a little, a little crazy. But I'll, I'll, I'll add a picture because I, I copied that picture so, and put it on here to show you what it looks like. So yeah, y'all have a good day and stay positive.